Everyone knows our songs Tit Boat and Rubik's Boob, but we wanted to stretch creatively and artistically, which is why we wrote the song Nipple Party. That song changed my view on life and nipples. Our music is our legacy. What's your legacy? My legacy? Uh, son, you're home. Hey. How was school? Oh, I got this dumb project for my dumb history class about our dumb family. Well, this old tuna can is packed full of salty Blark family memories. Want to crack it open and take a whiff? Dad, there's no need to hack through the gnarled vines of our family tree. I already know that your great-great-uncle supposedly invented the bicycle seat. Do you have any idea what people did before that man came along? Rode around with pipes up their butts? Well, sure, those are the broad strokes, but let me dive into the details. You see, son, the human anus... Dad! Settle down, this won't take long. The Blark family history actually begins in the year 1990. Oh. B.C. Son! Not now, Dad! Hey, son! Get out! I found a treasure trove of family history. Dig in. These are photos of Asian women opening pickle jars with their feet. Oop, wrong box. Look, my assignment is to pick one ancestor that I'm proud of. Do we even have one of those? Do we? Our family's grubby fingers have been knuckle deep in history's pie for years. Oh, Mary Todd, why don't we stay in tonight? Hey, Abe, I got free tickets to the theater. And their balcony seats. Iceberg, that ahead! Let's go around it! Around it? No. We're going through it. I don't want to be too hands-on with these Star Wars prequels. George, you gotta write and direct these yourself! And make them all about trade disputes. Audiences eat that stuff up. Dad, those are... Inarguably the three darkest and most terrible moments in human history. This project has to be about someone in our family that I'm actually proud of. So I guess I could write about you, my beloved hermit crab, Sandy Duncan. She's pretty crafty and technically a family member. Ah, sure does make a lot of sense. <laughs> Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Not... One. Bit. Thanks for seeing me, Stacy. Well, I am trying to drum up business, so I can offer you a very generous 5-3% discount. You'll be paid in Little Cheezer's Pizza Coupons. Oh, um, okay. I'll, I'll need to check the expiration dates first, you know, I've been hurt before. So, you're concerned about your legacy. That's completely normal. We all hope to create something that will outlive us. Think of it as an immortality project. Immortality, huh? That's it. I'll create a mummy. Just need to find some enchanted sand. Okay, Lark, these immortality projects are all around us, whether it's something as revolutionary as Edison's light bulb or as simple as this chair I'm sitting on. That's just a pile of unsold copies of your self-help book. Right, which is technically an immortality project. Blark, my advice to you is to find one thing you're passionate about and use it to change the world forever. Forever? Mm-hmm, yeah. Now, about those little cheesers coupons, would any of them happen to include, oh, I don't know, free wacky bread? Loin fruit! Your old man did something you can be proud of. You finally turned yourself in for setting fire to that carpet store? Never! I've invented something that will etch my name into history. Huh? Behold, the Drazer Ale! Warning, keep away from hands, feet, and face. Dad, you took two things that worked perfectly fine on their own and forced them together until they didn't work at all. Just like you do with us! Hey, you're right! I'm just a big dumb nobody! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <coughs> Who desperately needs a tetanus shot? I could be remembered as the world's biggest failure, but I'd probably fail at that, too! Whoa! You're watching Happy TV, a 
Dad, Dad, everything's great! Followed by Successful Dad. Why am I watching this? Hey, Dad. Grumble. So, I turned in that project, and it actually came out really well. Oh, I'm sure your hermit crab is going to be stoked. Actually, I didn't write about my hermit crab. I wrote about you. Me? Well, I haven't done anything. I haven't even gotten that tetanus shot yet. Which might become an issue. Here. This is the most touching thing I have ever read. I will cherish this C minus always. I've been thinking about your whole immortality thing. The way I see it, anything I do is an accomplishment for both of us. So yeah, stop being so weird and sad. My. God, you're right! My immortality project is you! Okay, no, 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 don't take this too- Ha-ha! <laughs> Think of this report as a binding contract. Blark and Son, together, in perpetuity. Oh, balls. I'm gonna be all up in your business, forever. <laughs> I gotta get this baby notarized! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Should've just written about the f***ing crab. Thank <laughs> you.